she's gone and left the camera on. Now is my chance. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be telling you all the reasons why chameleons are superior in every way compared to humans. Starting with the fact that you guys are ugly and I hate you all. Oh no, she's back. Carl, what, what are you doing here? Don't touch me, stupid human. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a haul that nobody asked for, and I don't even know if anyone's gonna even wanna watch this, but I went back to school shopping a few days ago. I went school supply shopping, which was very strange for me being 25 years old. It was really exciting though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I also went clothes shopping because I don't have any clothes whatsoever. If you always see me in this, and a floral little puffy shoulder kind of t-shirt, I just don't have any clothes. I don't have any shoes everything's breaking partially because of quarantine partially because I'm kind of frugal and I don't really go shopping a lot unless I need to so I decided to splurge and I thought I would give you guys a haul I got stuff from ASOS I bought shoes school supplies school supplies School supplies this bag is really heavy more clothes so I'm just gonna get straight into it I always tend to forget that there may be people that maybe don't watch me that watch this video so if you haven't watched me before I'm going to school this year for university wait what I'm going to school this year for university did I really just say that I need the coffee hold up I need some coffee people So I'm going to university for zoology, and I think let's just get started. Yeah. I think I'm going to start with the school supplies first, and then we'll move on to clothes, because for the clothes, I'm going to have to like change and blah, 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 so I'll wait for that. So the first thing that I bought was from Accessorize, and I, I have to pick up, sorry. And that is a bag. Oh cute is this backpack I know I'm not gonna need it okay I know it's coronavirus and we're probably not gonna be going to campus actually I think I have one class that I go to campus for and then the rest are online so I'm, I'm not gonna use this but for that one class bitch I want to go in style I just love the color of this bag normally when I get a backpack I normally get like a black one because I just like it to match with my clothes but I literally just had to cave in and buy this. Like, I love this color so much. Like, the brown with the blue with the cream. It just looks very expensive, even though it was only like 30 pounds. But still, it has a little front pocket here. It's a really big bag. It has a little section for your laptop. Actually, I don't even know if my laptop's going to fit in there. Let's test it out. Nope. Oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> so it has like this little, um, this little thing that if it works, there you go. So then no one can get in my bag. I mean, people could steal this, but the laptop is what counts. Hi guys, I'm just going to school. So that was the first thing. Take a little coffee break. Do you guys remember like 30 seconds ago? I was just saying that I wasn't gonna get a black bag because I wanted something different. I exchanged it. <laughs> Black just goes with everything. I just couldn't help it. The next place I went to was Ryman. So the first thing that I bought were these post-it notes. Now, I have never in my life used post-it notes. But after watching quite a couple of YouTube videos of other people in university, people say that this is very, very helpful. So I'm gonna try my best to be organized, be a good student. So I bought these, I'm gonna try my best to use them. I don't really know when I'm gonna use them, but I'll use them, especially because I paid like eight pounds for all these so I'm gonna definitely use that so I got some flashcards which in the UK they call record cards I never use these in school either but I feel like I'm gonna need these yeah I also got some more like some more posted things these little flag thingies whatever you call them also picked myself up some sharpies which I don't really know I'm gonna use these for either but I just feel like whenever you don't have a sharpie you need a sharpie so I came prepared bitch the other thing I bought were these super cute little pastel highlighters. I have a blue one, purple, pink, orange, yellow, and mint green. Um, and then the last thing I got from Ryman was this little desktop stapler. It's also pastel pink because it looks really cute. Um, I just feel like 
you never know when you're gonna need a stapler so I just got one I think I need to get a printer too the next place I went to oof, was WH Smith and this bag my god is so so heavy but you'll see why in like a minute so the first thing that I got from WH Smith were just these plain mechanical pencils the second thing that I got were just um, some pens I got the 0.7 millimeter pen because I like it when it's like really fine. By the way, pens are really expensive. At WH Smith, they were selling pens for like 17 pounds, 20 pounds. I'm like, what? what's so special about this pen? Is it like a never ending pen? Like will it never run out of ink or like what? They didn't even look cute either. The next thing that I got was this planner. It says... I have no idea what I'm doing because I really don't have any idea what I'm doing but I didn't get it because of that I just chose it because it was the last one I went to Paper Chase I went to Ryman I went to WH Smith like I literally searched all over and every single planner has just the day it literally just has the day on a page I like very visual planners like I want to see the whole month I want to see the whole week so this is such a good planner. I actually have this one as well um, that I use for my YouTube stuff. I have this one which expires this December which I'm really sad about. I should buy a new one. I think everyone does like these ones because obviously if there were none left that means obviously everyone took them. And, oh this is really cute. Oh my god look at this. It has like a little candy cane theme. But like I just really love this because the things I want to achieve, plan of action, and then it shows you the whole month. You see the whole week in front of you. You can write little notes. You can write like checklist, um, top priorities. There's another note on the bottom. Oh, and then it also has like things you can take notes in the back. It has like a little, jeez. <laughs> has like a little thing where you can, if you get like little papers, you can just pop them in there. So the reason why my bag is so heavy is because I bought a bunch of notebooks. These are the campus notebooks by Oxford, I believe. Yeah. I was originally gonna get the Pucka Pad ones or Puka Pad, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, but I just mean like they just weren't cute. Like if I'm gonna study for something, I want it to look cute and these feel luxurious too. Like it has like this material. I don't know what it is, but it's super smooth and comfortable. Your Oxford notebook has an app. It's called Scribzy. Scan using the page marker. Save your notes securely. Access seamlessly from anywhere. Oh, hey, that's cool. I didn't know that. I don't know why I would ever want my notes on my phone, but hey, that's pretty cool. So I bought the pink one, the purple, the mint green, and I just bought double of them because there were three for two. So yeah. Got a lot of them. <laughs> I'm so sorry if this video is so boring. Who wants to see this? Who? And then the last thing that I bought from WH Smith was this expanding organizer. So please let me know down below if you think this is a bad idea, but I hate binders. I think it's just because of all the trauma that I had in school of having to carry like four freaking huge binders to class and to and from school every single day so i was thinking like have this just in case like teachers ever hand things to me or like you know i ever have to do like i don't i don't know i've never been to university before so i don't know i just thought that it'd be like is that weird just to put them all in here couple for one class couple for another i don't know do you guys think that's a good idea i just got this because it was also pastel it's just like a pastel pink it looks really cute so i got that oh and one more thing that i bought um, I went to Wilco because Carl's spray bottle just randomly broke so I went and bought a new one and while I was in there I took a look at the stationery section and I found these they are just pastel mechanical pencils which obviously I had to get to match my theme so there's like pink gray blue yellow and mint green and I just thought these were really really cute oh yeah so I didn't actually buy this and you'll probably recognize this because I've had it in my videos before but um, instead of buying a pencil case I just went and bought this I mean 
and decided to use this which is what I got from yes style I think it was supposed to be a, a pencil case originally it's kind of like dirty that from my makeup brushes but I just thought it'd be really cute because it's like a little Nintendo game thingy mabob it just looks really cute so I thought like instead of buying another pencil case just use this one so yeah that that's um that's all I bought for my stationery let me know down below you guys if you have any suggestions for me i would really really appreciate it um okay so now let's go on to the clothing part of the haul so the first place that i went to was primark primark um so yeah i haven't tried any of these clothes yet obviously because of coronavirus so i'm gonna try them on for you so the first thing that i bought were these shoes they look like doc martens and i just thought these looked so so cool like I saw these and I was like oh, I have to get them they were only 16 pounds I got this from Primark just the white sweater this was only six pounds I just wanted to get this because I feel like it would look really cute with um some black skinny jeans and like high boots like I saw on this girl on Instagram so let me go try this on for you guys oh man this is so ugly <laughs> but I'm so sad. I just wanted a cute cream little thing. Honestly, I would probably keep this because it's only six pounds, but you can see through the shirt. It's always the one thing that I don't like about buying white is like you can always normally see your chi-chis through. So sad. Okay, I'm gonna go try this now. It's just black sweater. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, well this one's going in the, the back to store bag. Cute. From New Look, I bought these, which are some super cute boots. I love these kind of boots. I normally have these kind of boots, but suede. But I just wanted some like really simple shoes that would kind of match everything. And I feel like suede doesn't always match everything, whereas these will. Before I show you the thing that I got from ASOS, I just wanted to show you what I bought off Boohoo. I'm so excited. I really hope this fits me. I bought this which is like a shacket. That's what they call it, a shacket. I just really, really like the Burberry looking jackets and I found this one, which is like a knockoff. It was only 30 pounds. I didn't even know what a shacket was. I had to look it up. Apparently a shacket is a shirt and a jacket. It could be a shirt and it could be a jacket. So yeah. Oh, this sweater is really hot. I gotta take it off. And then the other thing, I just bought some high-waisted black jeans because I really needed some. I don't have any, so I got some high-waisted jeans. Now for the final thing that I got from ASOS. I went and bought this leather jacket, pleather jacket, fake leather. I was on the hunt when I was out for a leather jacket. I really wanted a certain style, but I couldn't find it. So when I was on ASOS, I found it. It's the one with this like cute little belt on the bottom. Let me show you. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I should get the small or not. This is really cute, but I don't know if I should have got the small. Okay, so that was the end of the haul that nobody asked for. I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I bought for school and university, which are the same things. I don't know why I said and. So I'm actually starting school tomorrow. I'm so scared. Like, I don't want to go. I'm joking, I do. I'm so excited. And you know what? I just want to say something before I go because I feel like my 18-year-old self would have really appreciated hearing this when i was really confused so i remember when i was in high school in grade 12 i remember a teacher told us that we really need to go to university straight after high school because the longer we are out of you know school after we graduate the higher the chance of you never going back to university is which i mean it's been seven fucking years for me and I'm going back because I just feel like I'm ready now Like I didn't think I was ready to go to school at 18 like I was very immature you know What don't ever believe statistics because one statistic told me that I would never quit smoking cigarettes I used to smoke like half a pack of cigarettes every single day Sometimes when I was drinking I would smoke a whole pack of cigarettes 
I quit four years ago and I still haven't picked up smoking again. So I mean, a statistic was I was never gonna quit smoking. There was another statistic that said after five years I would gain all the weight that I lost back. You know, I lost 60 pounds and people told me like, oh, you're gonna gain it back. It's been seven years as well. <laughs> so I mean like, statistics are statistics. They're not the rules of life. So if you feel in your heart that you're not ready to go or you still need time to decide what to do, like. Take the gap year, go work full time, get a, get a feel of what real life is like, paying bills, you know, move out on your own or like, you know, travel the world, volunteer and just really get a grasp of what you really love in life and something that you would enjoy doing because you never ever ever want to go to school just for money's sake. It is never going to make you happy. Things will never make you happy. I used to work at a job that made me cry every single day. Like I would go to work crying. It just really made me realize like, I don't wanna work a job that I hate just to make money, to buy things, to continue to work. Like pick your job wisely, pick it because you love it, not because of money. Whatever you choose in life, if you're passionate about it, you work very hard, you will find money, trust me. I mean, I can't really say trust me because I don't have money after me, but I, I hope. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you next Thursday for probably another university related video. I'm so sorry, but like it's just, I just can't help it. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.